Of course, I've covered this mini window before in several of my 11 rack videos, but I've never really focused on it. So in this video, we're going to focus just on this mini window here, this 11 rack mini window. Now, first off, in order to use it, you're gonna have to see it, right? So here we are in the edit window in Pro Tools. Let's come over to this little drop down, click that, and make sure you have 11 rack checked. If it's unchecked, we don't have it, okay? So just check it. You can actually move this around, hold down control on Windows. I believe that's command on Mac, but you can move it around if you want. I like it right over here in the corner. So let's go ahead and look at exactly what this mini window can do for us. Now, first off, starting in Pro Tools 12.2.1, I believe, Avid added back in the ability to open the 11 rec editor from within Pro Tools. Now, it's, it's not an integrated editor like in Pro Tools 10 and below. It's You'll still need to have the standalone editor installed, but we can click this icon now, and that will bring up our 11 rec editor. Click it again. It will, well, it should hide it for us. There we go. Now, it hides it for us. Uh, also, clicking anywhere will, of course, send that to the back. Now, it's still open. It's just right down here in my taskbar. Okay, so that's feature number one. Next is volume. We can control the volume, and whatever we change here, of course reflected on our 11 rack. We can mute our outputs. So let me go ahead and just arm a track here. Got my guitar strapped on already. Now I'll just play, let me, and we'll hit mute as this is ringing out. That mutes all of our outputs for us, okay? Pretty cool. Now actually, does it mute our headphones, which, have them right here. Maybe you can hear that. Okay. But it does mute our mains. Cool. All right, move on. Let's look at this little lock. Now this is our tempo sync for the 11 rack. Now in order to really see this, I have to bring up the editor here. So here's tempo. So maybe you have things like delay, things like that, or you know whatever kind of effects that you want tempo synced to your DAW. Now my DAW right now, as you see, is at 120 BPM. Our tempo on the 11 rack is 120 BPM. We don't have this lock, so I can change this tempo to, you know, whatever I want. Let's just change it to, say, 200. Okay, now it's on 200. All right, not really going to hear any difference here, but it's on 200 and we're on 120 for our session. Okay, now let's lock it. Lock it, of course, it's going to close our editor, but we'll just pop it back open now. Our tempo should be locked to our session, which 120, 120, okay. Let me change the BPM of my session to 190, okay. Again, this is locked. So open up our editor and we can see tempo is locked at 190. Pretty cool. Let me actually lock it. Let me change this back to 120. All right. Open up our editor and it's on 120. Unlock it. All right, now moving on. Now we can switch rigs. We can do it with these little arrows here. Let me pot up my guitar. I'll just click the arrow. Okay, and just like in the 11 rec editor, if we click the name here, then it will give us our bank. So here's our user banks, our factory banks. So go through our banks here, choose rig. Of course, anything we choose in this mini window is reflected on our 11 rec. And of course, it's reflected on our 11 rec editor. Okay, let me turn this up just a little bit. So again, that's just like the 11 rack. When you click the name, you can go through your user factory banks. Pretty cool. Let me hide that again. And like I said, we have our arrows too. If you just wanna you know, pop through them one at a time without going into your bank here. Let's go, go back to my user bank there. Now, click on this name again. You can see we can load from computer. So load one rig into the 11 rack, or we can load all rigs from computer into the 11 rack. One thing we can't do in this mini window is save our rig. So we'll still need to open up our 11 rec editor to click save if we come up with some sort of a super awesome, cool, fun time rig that we want to save, okay? So just keep that in mind. But we can load the rigs from computer with just this little mini window. All right. Now moving on to the last feature here. If we click the bank letter and number, look at this. How a flat list of all of our presets comes up. Okay, so like a bank list. And, and right here under bank, we can choose user. 
or factory. Go to factory. And again, this is the same stuff in, you know, on our 11 rack that we can access uh, right up here. Okay, so let's go back to this. Turn up my guitar. So let me turn this down a little bit, just a bit. There we go. Pull this back up. Just choose a different rig. And of course, anything we choose in here will be reflected in our mini window, on our editor, and of course, on the 11 rack. All right. Okay, pretty cool, right? And again, you can go to factory. Now, one thing you need to realize is if you click cancel, and we started on A1 when we opened this window. So if I click cancel, look what happens. It takes us right back to the preset we were on. So that way, you know, if we went through a bunch of presets and we didn't like any of those, we just want to go back to where we started, maybe we forgot. Don't worry, it's going to remember that for us, okay? Now, if we happen to find a rig that we did like, let's say we like this one, just click done. Now it will stay on that rig. Open that window back up. Okay, now the next thing we can do is increment rigs every and then choose a value. So right now it's on one second. Now, as soon as I click this check mark, it's going to start incrementing our rigs, going through our rigs, uh, depending on what bank we're on. Okay. Every one second, it's going to change rigs for us. So this can be useful for, you know, just uh, testing out your rigs. Um, you know, maybe you're trying to find that perfect rig. So I'll go ahead and click this. It's, going to, it's switching automatically for me, I'm not doing anything. Now, obviously, one second's not going to be long enough. So probably like three, four, five seconds, 20 seconds, whatever. Click that increment rig. Now every three seconds, it's changing for us. Okay, and if whenever you land on a rig, so, oh, that's the one, just click done. Boom, and it will stay right on that rig for us. Okay, so I think you probably understand how this works. Very, very easy. Now, Again, you could do, uh, let me just mention, you can do the same thing for your uh, factory rig. So just increment rig every one second. You can see it's changing our rigs for us. You can always pop that off, uh, you know, as it's, as it's scrolling through. So the next thing that our little flat list window here is very useful for would be in reamping or listening to sounds that are previously recorded through the 11 rack. That way you're not having to manually switch rigs. Although you can manually, manually switch rigs if you want up here, but we can also just have them increment for us. So let's set that up. To do that, we'll need to, uh, you know, have our track set up. So here's a dry track, which I already have. And I have I already have that being sent through our output and reamp. Okay. And we'll just use this track right here. That's fine. Now we can uh, arm this track or just uh, set it up for input. It really depends on what version of Pro Tools uh, you're on. Now my interface needs to be set to 11 rig left, right. Now I need to switch my 11 rack to make sure it's monitoring for my reamp. Now I'm not going to cover reamping in this video. I have an entire video showing how to set up reamping from the 11 rack or from the 11 rack editor. So I'm just going to do it right here. I'll just switch this to reamp. Okay, we're completely set up now. And now when I hit play, what we're hearing is this dry track being sent through our 11 rack, the physical hardware, running through this rig, in this case, it's country swirl and being sent back into Pro Tools on this track here. Okay, now I can switch rigs, of course. Okay, but let's bring up our little flat list again. And now we'll just have this increment for us. Okay, let me go ahead and Go ahead and hit playback. Then we'll bring it up. We'll just have this increment every one second. We can also click while it's running through. Let's change it to three seconds. We'll change it. Say we like that one, click done. 
stay on that rig for us. The one thing I should mention, I have this set up to loop. So in order to do that, just uh, you know, select your clip there, just click on it with your hand. If you will select the whole thing, that will set up your loop part for you. Make sure you have a loop set up here for your playback, just right click and choose loop. Okay, so that's a pretty cool trick you can use with this 11 rack mini window to really test out a bunch of rigs uh, where you're not really having to dig through a bunch of menus if you don't want to. If you want to, you know, as, as I show, we can do that. <laughs> Bring up our flat list, increment this every two seconds. Oh, that's the one right there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that is the 11 rack mini window or cluster, whatever you prefer to call it, right here in the edit window of Pro Tools. You know, you don't always have to bring up the entire editor just to do some simple things like switching rigs. You know, if you're gonna make, you know, perimeter changes, obviously you're gonna need your editor or the front panel of the 11 rack. If you wanna, you know, change your input type, again, you can do that from the 11 rack. We can do it uh, from our editor as well. We can do things like mute the mains right here on our uh, mini window. As you can see, it mutes the mains. It doesn't mute the phones, but that's okay. Unmute. And we can, you know, adjust our volume, tempo lock, easily scroll through our rigs here just by clicking these little arrows click on the name there and go for our banks here uh, you know switch to user factory load rigs load all rigs and of course our nifty little flat list bank list of all of our uh, presets in choosing user or factory and as you can see whatever rig is selected will also be updated right here it says rig okay and again, it's shown up here in our little mini window and on the 11 rack and in the 11 rack editor. So it's all over the place. You'll always know exactly what rig you're on. And of course, the really nifty increment every feature. Just click that, pow, pow, pow. Set your value, whatever you want it on. Five seconds there. One, two, three, four, and five. Switch. There we go. So that's a pretty cool feature to have as well to really demo out your rigs with really the here exactly. Uh, what they sound like without having to take your hands off of your guitar, you know. And just remember to click done if you want to stay on the rig that you landed on and click cancel if you want to go back to the rig you were on before you started this whole process. All right, so that's the 11 rack mini window. Be sure to get very familiar with it because it's an extremely useful and efficient tool for controlling your 11 rack right here in Pro Tools.